Hello again, I'm Matthew from thewetpen.com, and it's December 7th today. We're already a full week into this month, and I haven't started my Christmas shopping yet. Well, let's see what's behind door number 7 on the Inkvent calendar, shall we? Here we have an ink called Alpine, and looking at the bottom of the bottle, it's pretty obvious that this is a shimmering ink. The side of the bottle says that this is a shimmer ink rather than a chameleon. Alpine sounds like it should be a good Christmassy color. I'm going to swatch this one on my coloring, on Tomoe River, and on Ivory Midori MD paper. Aha! Huh. This looks like a nice dark green, maybe a little more like a dark olive than a typical bluish pine green. As this dries, the shimmer is getting really heavy, and the Tomoe River is frosting over with that dusty, pale finish that we sometimes see on coated papers. Once it's dry, the color looks pretty similar on the coloring and the Midori, but it's significantly cooler on the Tomoe River. Here's the coloring and the Tomoe River. Let's take a closer look at that shimmer. Pretty sparkly. And on the Tomoe River too. Here there's a ton of shimmer, but it ends up looking more pearlescent too, I think. Things look pretty similar to the coloring here on the Midori, except that there's darker shading under that glitter. With all of this glitter, it's a little hard to see the base color, so I've made a second swatch without shaking the bottle first. And here I think it's easier to appreciate the color. This is a pretty unique green in my collection. Last year's Tempest was a shimmering green, but it had a gold shimmer, and it was a darker, bluer green. And Garland, which was also in last year's calendar, is also a bluer green, but not as dark, but with blue glitter and some red sheen. The only other shimmering green that I own is Diamine Magical Forest, and it's more of a medium grass green. Color-wise, I'd say that Alpine is pretty similar to Monarca Manglar, and it's also really similar to Noodler's Shivago. Otherwise, if Antique Sepia were much darker, it might be in the right range. Leaf Green is much more yellow and vibrant. And this cedar is also a lot more yellow, and so are the rest of these. Well, I made a quick writing sample here, starting with a glass dip pen, and then with a calligraphy dip nib, and the ink flowed pretty well, and a lot of shimmer came through, but the ink was so dark that it was hard to tell the color. With a medium fountain pen nib, though, the color looked really nice with some shimmer and a bit of shading. What do you think of this one? The shimmer on this one reminds me of that lighter, silvery underside of some pine needles. I like that. If you have a second, my videos can always use an extra like or two. Or better yet, share this video with someone who you think might find it interesting. And that's it. Merry Christmas, everyone, and I will see you back here tomorrow with another bottle of new ink.